Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we will be going back onto Google Classroom and I'm going to show you how you can make sure that all your parents and guardians are on board with what you're doing and how you can invite them to keep track of exactly what your students are expected to submit, what they're doing, what they're completing, and how you can get them involved and included in everything that goes on in your classrooms. So the first thing we'll have to do is open up our Google Classroom. Now I have a brand new Google Classroom open, no students invited yet. This is one of my demo accounts and I have also opened two additional windows with two extra accounts. I have the student account, this is another demo account, and then I have a demo account which will represent the parent. So let's make sure that everything works the way we want it to work and let's start by inviting our student to become a member of our classroom. Now as you remember there are a number of different ways to do this. You can either invite them manually, add their email address to your list, or you can give them the class code. We're going to do it manually and so we're going to open up our teacher account right here and then we're going to go to people. Now in that people's tab I'm going to go down to the students so let's go ahead and add our student's email address here. We're going to just pop that in there and invite our student. Now, once you've done that, simply click on invite and there we go. We can now open up our student's account. You will see this student is going to receive a brand new email asking him to join the classroom. So let's go ahead and join that classroom as a student. Here we are. We are now in the classroom as a student. You can see that at the top, I only have stream, classwork and people. This shows me that this is a student account, I'm not the teacher. If I go back to our teacher account, you see that I have an additional tab there that says marks. This is a great way to make sure that you're in the correct account. Now that I have this student right here, I can also invite guardians. Now this is a great way to make sure that everyone stays in the loop on what is expected and what sort of work you're setting as a teacher. So let's go ahead and invite the guardian for this student. Now, if you do not see the option there, you'll have to contact your admin. Now, the admin is going to turn this on and then you can invite a guardian. So let's go ahead and jump into the admin console now and then we're going to turn this on. Now, if you are a teacher and you've spoken to your admin, you can use the timestamp below to simply skip over the admin section and go straight to inviting that guardian. Now, the first thing you have to do as an admin is navigate to the classroom setting. Now, once you've navigated to the classroom settings at the top, you'll see that you can have guardian access. You'll simply have to switch this on. So we're going to go ahead, turn this on. We're going to change the settings. We're going to allow parents and guardians to access the information. And then who can manage these? All verified teachers. Let's go ahead and save this setting. And this has now become available to all your teachers. So let's return to our teacher's classroom account. So now that the admin has activated the guardian functionality within Google Classroom, you can see that we can invite our guardians. So let's go ahead and invite our demo parent account. We're going to click on invite guardian and I'm going to type in parents and then the email account of that parent. There we go. We're going to invite this person and send that invite. You can see, add this class to the Guardian email summary. So that means that they get a summary of everything that's been done, submitted. We're going to say, okay, let's go ahead and add this. And then we're going to open up our parents account. So here we are now in our parent account. And you can see that I have received an email summary. And when I open up this email, I can either accept this and I can say, yes, I would like to see the summary of this student. Or I can say, I'm not their guardian. You've made a mistake. Maybe you can double check this. So let's go ahead and accept this invitation. And we're going to be asked, do you want to receive these email summaries? Yes, go ahead and accept this. And we can now choose as a parent how we would like to receive our summaries. So here you can see we can either set it to daily, weekly, or we could even tell Google Classroom we do not want to see those summaries. I'm going to leave them to weekly summaries. There we go. We're going to leave that as it is. And then once you're done with this, you simply close your tab and you're good to go. Now let's go back to our teacher's page. Here on our teacher's page, you can now see that this parent has been invited. Now let's refresh this page. We see this parent has been invited. I can click on those three dots. I can email my student. I can email that guardian or that parent. I can invite even more guardians or I can remove the guardian. So let's go ahead and send an email to this guardian. This sends me straight to my email address 
and it automatically fills it out for me. So this is a great time saver when you quickly have to contact the parents or there is something that needs following up. You can use this function not having to search for any emails. Once you've set it all up, you can simply select that option. Once your guardians have been invited, they will get those summary emails about the work completed and about what's been going on on Google Classroom. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to our tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.